hey, I'm back. What do you mean? Um, so I had a whole take where I drank my drank my charcoal and everything. And what did I have but naked baby running the room? So I was like, oh my gosh. So I took that one down. So, all right. Um, so let me tell you about my day. Um, today was day two. Um, I, it, it is, if you, it is a lot of pills. It is 30 pills a day. It's five pills, six times. I'm sure I'm not the first video you've watched. Um, it's five pills, six times a day or six. Yeah. Five pills, six times a day. Um, and I'm sorry, that's not right. It's six pills, oh, five pills, six times a day. That's right. Um, so, um, Anyway, it comes in a little pack, and in that pack, you, they're separated the pills, and so you take those pills with water. Like I said, um, you know, it's not a big change for me. I don't mind swallowing pills. I swallow food all the time. You know what I mean? Swallowing pills, no big deal. Um, so then at the end of the day, I do uh, the charcoal, which I was going to do with y'all tonight, which I did with y'all tonight, but y'all didn't get to see it. Um, so I'll do it tomorrow, and then tea. And then I have one set of pills that I um, have left to take. My advice is don't take pills too late because I actually fell asleep putting him to sleep last night. Woke up, took the pill at like 11 o'clock and then like 12 o'clock I was up again. And then 12.30 I was up again. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm fine. Um, so today was an actual detox day. And when I say detox... I mean, poop. It was a detox day. Um, I feel very energetic. Uh, normally by this time of night, I am kind of like worn down because I get up at like five o'clock every morning. And so normally by this time of day, I'm pretty worn out and, you know, run down, um, and, I mean, I actually, I feel really good. I, I don't feel like I go much longer. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like, oh, yes, we're going to kick it in the high gear for the rest of the night. It's not like that. But um, I definitely feel like, you know, throughout the day, I didn't have to have, like, my normal um, energy supplement that I, that I take. Um, so, I mean, overall, um, I think... I mean, I mean, it works. It's a detox. And, I mean, it's working. It's not bad. Um, I haven't really noticed any other differences other than, um, other than, you know, aside from what I'm eating. Um, I'm eating a lot of fruit. I'm keeping it as simple as possible. Like, because I wanted to remove every excuse. And so I'm keeping it as simple as possible. So I'm eating a lot of fruit oatmeal um that i'll put honey in um to sweeten it a little bit um what else am i eating salad um so i'm keeping it very some it's just 20 days like that's it it's just 20 days and so um i've already developed you know i i already developed an appreciation for food and outside of the you know, celebrations and funerals and, you know, treats and graduations and birthdays. And, you know, I was raised in the South and in a very Southern home with, you know, two grand, you know, the grandmother on each side who both were, you know, here, baby, eat this. Here, baby, eat this. Oh, baby, grandma made a pound cake. Oh, come here, baby. Let's shell some beans. You know what I mean? So, I. Uh, it was always, you know, in my house, if it was an occasion, we ate. And so it didn't matter what occasion it was, we were eating. Graduation, eating. Funeral, eating. And so treats, eating. And so it became like this thing where, you know, I worshipped food. I didn't even know how else to put it, where I worshipped food. Um, you know, you put it on your plate, you go, oh, yes. Oh, that looks so good. Like, I mean, people don't even do that with the Bible. So, you know, I really got to a point, I started a program about a year ago where I had to eat six small meals a day and they looked at it as fuel. And once I started, changed my mindset and I saw it as fuel, um, I did, I, when I got off that program, I, you know, temporarily kind of went back to the way I was, but I noticed it wasn't as bad. Like, 
you know, if I did eat something, it wasn't a full on like, you know, oh my God, I ate two cheeseburgers. It was more like, okay, I'll eat a half of a cheeseburger and not cheeseburgers is a bad example because I don't eat beef. Um, but you know what I mean? Like if we ordered, you know, rather than ordering the, the large French fry, it would be a small French fry. So, um, I started to see food differently. And so this, in this leg of my journey, um, I found it ironic to find, um, so my dad dies in 2018. Um, no, we don't clean out the house for ages, right? So 2020 comes along and I developed this, you know, beginning of the quarantine. I'm on like my third chocolate chip cookie and I say, okay, now, which way we going? Which way we going? We going up or we going down? Hmm, you're right. So shift my mindset, shift the way I'm eating. You know, I'm only not eating any junk, drinking water, eating six small meals a day like I was before. But this time I'm eating my small meals. Right. And um, just really doing a lot of self work this time. So, um, you know, so this is 2020, right? Beginning of the quarantine. And um, during the quarantine, like a about a month or so ago this right now this is october so about um august um uh my dad the guys who are over the dad's house you know who are going to sell it are like you know hey we're um ready to sell the house you can come clean it out so i'm like okay so i go down and i'm cleaning out the house this is actually like two weekends ago now i'm cleaning out the house and i find this box i wish i had the box Oh, that would be so awesome for my story right now. <laughs> so I had this, found this box, right? Get me a prop. Doggone it. Get me a prop. That was this box, right? So I'm like, ooh, a box. And then there's an eye, the eye of Anubis, right? And I open up this box and there are six small bottles in it and two packets, the charcoal and the tea. And then the instructions on the top. Brand Banking new. So I'm like, hmm, I told you I'm very spiritual. So I said in the last video. So I'm like, hmm, okay, Anubis, what do you have for me? So I open it up. And I don't really have time to go through it then, but I kind of look and I notice it's a detox, right? So I pull out each bottle and I know it's a de detox. So I'm like, you know, I don't really have time to, because I mean, I am literally at the beginning of cleaning this house out, right? Parents married 35 years, you know. So, um, you know, okay, I'll have to read this later. So I put it aside, but I notice as I pull out the box, you know, because if I'm going to keep it, is it good? If I'm not, you know, so as I pull out the, um, the bottles, I look for the expiration date. The first one expires October 31st, 2020. Okay. The rest of them expired in December of 2020. So literally, if I'm going to do it now is the time. So, um, I, like I said yesterday, I was very concerned about if I was even going to do it. And, you know, I was very skeptical and all that. But, um, you know, now that I've started, um, even aside from, you know, because I don't have that. Oh, my God, I love the way it makes me feel like I don't have that yet. Um, you know, cause I've, I've felt awesome. Like this whole quarantine, like, you know, after I started working out and drinking my water and eating right and all that, I felt awesome. And so if this can make me feel even more awesome than that, then that would be like, what? Um, but, um, for the most part though, like I'm just, I feel like, you know what, it's no better time to detox than right now. Why not? You know, I work at a place where it's just me and my boss. My boss is my sister. And, you know, if I use bathroom, I'm pretty much at home. So, um, I'm not going to make any excuses. I'm just going to do it. So, anyway, I will talk to you later. All right. Bye. Thanks for watching. And if you're interested, please subscribe. Please subscribe. I will be back. Okay, darling. you Oh, it's really good. It's really good. It's, you can tell it's got some peppermint in it. Mmm. Sipping on that tea. All right, folks. See y'all tomorrow.